Okay, back to drawing board. It's just, it's, I don't know, Umineko is crazy. <laughs> Did it like got destroyed maybe? How Sakutaro knows about AV6? That cannot end well. Uh-uh? No? This is the lost cause. This is the lost cause. You just cannot... I can actually agree with this. I really think that they had like the strongest bond. The sadness towards her. And she is becoming another Maria. I forgot. Hello and welcome, Pocketwatch here, and it's about time for another episode of Umineko. Yeah, so, um, last episode was crazy. Last episode was crazy, and looks like you guys waited for that episode as well, because comment section was, like, crazy active <laughs> under previous episodes, so thank you. And uh, thanks for pointing me out, like, some things, like the red uh, text that confused me. That I thought that Beato was saying it, but that was like actually like like Butler thinking, or it was like a narrative for the viewer basically. It's kind of weird also because Butler didn't knew how to talk red yet in this in the situation, but I guess that makes sense. So yeah. Also, yeah, after a comment section. We went to like Discord channel and we had like a lot of conversation about the episode as well. And I would say we had like very fruitless... Uh, a lot of uh, like good conversations about the episode and I have some ideas uh, what to think about this whole situation. Also, I realized that... I mean, I'm f I mentioned this in the previous episode, but I didn't really thought about that. I wasn't sure, but Beato, like, actually lied to Butler in the blue. So I was right. I was, like, wondering, did Butler said that actually in red? But no, he didn't. So Beato deliberately just lied to Butler in blue. That's interesting. And, yeah. Also, basically, I'm... Like, to make everything short, I'm kind of suspicious of Shannon, uh, Jessica, and Rosa at this point. I think these three are, like, my main people that are suspicious to me right now. And I think possibly Shannon kind of more than Jessica, but maybe not. Kind of similar vibes. But yeah. Anyway, let's continue the story, let's continue the story and we'll see. And yeah, at some point we will have like proper theory about Umineko. Let's get more, let's get more clues and everything. Also, yeah, I've checked like, like after the previous episode and in the discussion on Discord, I literally just checked episode 1, episode 2 and episode 3. <laughs> like backstories, informations and everything. I still need to check backstory for Angie from episode 4. But yeah, I cannot do everything like in span of like hour. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, let's just go. Let's continue the story and let's see what will happen next time. Amakusa, sore kitte kureru? Oh yeah. Let me know in the comments if you like the soundtrack that we have right now. The soundtrack that uh, is appearing when Amakusa is. Because apparently it's not the favorite soundtrack for everyone. Not everyone likes this vibe. I like it a lot. Oh, yeah, this is like exactly okay. So they like actually gave a name. Yeah, I... Okay, I forgot the name for of the guy who made the soundtrack, and they included him into the game. Wow. Okay. Oh. Amakuzo turned the radio off. The world of cheery sounds was immediately swallowed up by the roar of the sea. And blotted out by the ocean's grey. Also, by the way, one of my like simple theories, I would say, out of episode 4, this is just a glimpse of what uh, I was thinking during the conversation that we had. 
uh, is that what if this story, like Umineko, is actually about revenge? And here I'm thinking about Shannon in particular because of some dialogue that we had before and what she remembers and what Butler don't remember. What if this is like the rev about revenge and about love? What if? There's more into it, but that's like for... Sorry for another time, I guess. <laughs> Both captain pointed, but I couldn't really recall the scene of 12 years ago. I thought I'd surely be able to immediately remember how things had been at the time, but no memories came back to me. After that incident, the island was sealed off and left to the wild. I couldn't satisfy myself with the thought that this was uh, just inevitable and it felt sad and painful for some reason. Ah. Uh, but I at least remember one thing. You might say that I would probably be that it would probably be the same anywhere on the sea. But I remember at last one thing: the cries of the seagulls. I do remember those. When I was young, I rarely went to the ocean, so everything that symbolized the ocean meant Rok Rokenjima and the family gathering to me. In short, it was a symbol for the happiness of going out with my family. However, at this point of time, it seems doubtful uh, whenever that even was happiness. In my younger days, the trip uh, had felt like a relaxed family vacation, but considering my parents' situation at the time, it was surely a very difficult trip to handle. The distribution of the inheritance f filling the place with the smell of gunpowder. I can remember giggling all over the place, completely ignorant of my parents' feeling. I wonder if Amakusa will have like some bigger role actually. I mean, he have kind of big role, right? Like he's a bodyguard and he help Angie, but something even more important, maybe? I wonder. Because he looks cool, so I would like him to like have him involved into in something. What if he's a traitor or something? Like, look at him. Like, like he just give a vibes of the traitor. Kinda. Amakusa, in an attempt to speak for my innermost feelings, tried to sound cool. The boat slowly round the island. I hope that viewing it uh, at a different angle might bring back my memories of the island silhouette at that time just a little. But in the end, even when that in the inlet was hidden completely by cliffs, I wasn't able to remember anything. Okay. Okay, back to drawing board. There's more than one harbor. Okay. 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 うん。ロッケン島は石の都の領有する島だ。だが、金蔵さん個人が所有する島というもう一つの顔がある。オッケー。一つの島、二つの船着き場、二つの屋敷。いや、プリティマーシュ。大人を囲うためだけに随分と金
So Shannon Cannon didn't knew, I think. But yeah, that's that's a lot of people that actually know about the second harbor. Huh. Yeah. Oh, Nanjo too, okay. ガゼリア結構いるような気がするが、とにかく知っている人間はわずかだった。その、もう一つの屋敷について教えてください。クアドリア中名前のお屋敷があるとだけは聞かされとった。わしは船を離れることを許されんかったから、一度も見たことはない
クアドリアンへの出入りはある日を境にぷっつりとなくなっちまった今からだいたい30年前だから going to... okay. 昭和43年頃だったと思う Is this the time when Berto died? That was 68, right? Uh, wait, do I have a note of this? I think I have a note of this. Or maybe not. 1986. No, 86 is now. I mean, 12 years ago. Yeah, don't have it, but I'm pretty sure this is the time when Beato died, when we had the backstory with Rosa. Oh, and it's linked, like, to Kuadorian as well, okay. ある日、源氏さんから急な連絡があった。オッケー。別の指示があるまで、裏には行かなくていいって言うんだ。until we hear differently, so he assumed that there might be possibility to start like giving goods again。別の指示とは、huh. 特にはなかった。早い話がある日突然裏には今後定期便はいらない食料も届けなくていいと言われたわけだ、okay. わしは最初クビにされたのかと思ったよだがすぐに気づいたそれにクアドリアンのことを知る使用人たちの様子からもなんとなく察しがついたベアトリーチェが死んで、yep. 食料を届ける必要も世話人を送る必要もわしはそう考えとるそれっきり裏へ船を出せという指示は受けてないしかし裏については死ぬまで何も喋るなと、oh, I just realized that the game is awfully loud I will have to fix it next episode I will deal with it and actually lower the volume in the editing but these are not good charts I'm not happy with it there might be some problems in the audio we'll see uh, after that Genji-san came to face me and get oh wait what? その後、源氏さんが直接わしのところへ来て、えらく強く念を押した。Okay! Why now, though? This, this is very interesting because it happened after Beatrice died, so why keep it it secret then? If before, like, he was, he was never so pushy and he never told you, like, Never speak anything about the hidden side, ever. But he started doing this after Patrice died. This is interesting. So, for 20 years, the Eva Oba was found. Yeah, she was found there. On that day, 12 years ago, Shurumiya Eva somehow escaped harm from alone in a hidden mansion 2 kilometers away from the mansion. Why was she in a hidden mansion that had been forgotten for 20 years? Well, she found it. With the epitaph. Yeah, but definitely. もしも話通りに未開の密林だとしたらおめかしした奥様風情に踏破できるもんじゃありませんぜじゃあカイロモーターボートみたいなものがあったとか
まさかあの二晩の台風はそりゃひどいもんだった船なんぞ使えるわけもない、yeah. so underground or the rose path じゃあ屋敷とクアドリアンを直通する、yep. 例えば愛人の家へ出入りするのに毎回船の用立てが必要なんて面倒でしょ全長2キロメートルの六軒島の対角線上に存在する屋敷をつなぐためにそんだけの長い地下トンネルを Kids have money. She can do that. とバカにしてところだが愛人のために隠し屋敷まで作っちまう大富豪だそれも否定できんところですな、ね yep. どうなんですか船長わしは海の人間だ穴のことはわからんだが、硫黄島で旧日本軍は25キロのトンネルを掘ってみせたぞ。あの金蔵さんなら2キロくらい掘ってみせてもわしは何も驚かん。Makes sense. <sighs> やっぱりおかしな島ね。私たちはこの島のことを未だ誰一人何も知らない。Okay. So we landed. Yep. The boat reached the shore. They would have to walk a short way to reach the mansion. And this is the background we had in the backstory. Oh, so that's actually. That's a harbor? Uh, maybe. So we are going to actually visit Kuvadorian now. 当時の道が残っているだろうが、草木で覆われてしまってるはずだ。We'll see more of Kuvadorian. I want to do that. God damn it. 迷わんように気をつけてな。Only Kuvadorian stuff. We had the hidden room with gold, the cells, underground, and、uh, the garden when the, where Beatrice was. Nothing like inside the mansion. I mean, there was like, one CG with the background with mansion. The vase, but that's all. Nothing specific. I wonder if they can find something because police didn't find anything. So we'll see. <laughs> Oh. Yep. You don't believe. Oh, soundtrack. Oh, soundtrack. And she put on her knapsack, holding the flowers she would offer. Sashte are a kaino. It the koi, ojo chan. She's seeking a closure. Anta no kazoku a matir. Yeah. Oh my god, this oh this this is going to be perfect. I had never been on the road like this. But I had no trouble finding my way. That's the way that Rosa was walking on before. If I walked straight ahead, it probably would guide me to the final destination for everything. It was true that the vegetation was incredibly thick. And if I didn't pay attention, I would lose track of the path. But the road that was left was much clearer than I'd guessed it would be. Still, that didn't change the fact that it was a bad road. Contrary to the distance shown on the map, I was forced to walk a long way. The forest was deep and dark. At the time, I had been threatened into staying away from the forest because a witch lived there. Of course, the fear is gone now, but I feel it. Because it, I was me, I could feel the presence, like an aura, of the golden witch, Beatrice. Here and there were massive fallen lumps of rocks, along with the overgrown trees and the ivy, and the voices of birds and bugs. Yeah, I feel it. I feel that the witch is here. 
Ooh. I have shields actually, got them at ahead and Ivy Covet's construction side fence and warning sites dude. No entry. Tokyo Metropolis. That was written on it. Yeah, that's right. When you think Tokyo, you tend to think of a city. Patrok and Jima is lo also located within the Tokyo Metropolis. Oh, so this is a different thing, okay. Apologizing to the side for my rudeness mistake, I climbed the fence. When I crossed the, st crossed the steep slope beyond that, my field of vision rapidly expanded. And the fresh sea, bre uh, sea breeze blew through my, uh, through my, uh, my hair. Blah. Oh, that's the... That's also background. That was background for imaginary empty space that, uh, that when they were like doing this magic stuff with Mario. It was like uh, the top of the little hill. Below me was a vast view of the island. I could only see desolated forests and rocks, fall walls spread out below me. But I realized that the mansion was probably somewhere around there. The steep down, uh, downward slope beyond this hill had probably been, uh, been caused by earth and rocks collapsing from 12 years of wind and rain. It had become a slant, f a slant filled with cracks that you might even call gentle cliffs. It would be easy to tremble down through it looked like. Climbing back would be pretty difficult. In any event, it seems that uh, proceeding any further would be impossible. If I continued any further, I wouldn't be able to return. In other words, this is the border. This place is, 90, uh, is 86 and 98. And this is that day and today. The boundary between this world and Nirvana. Wait. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. As the strong winds blew, Mamon and Sakutaro air. They looked down from the hilltop. Where's Kumadorian? Hmm. Did it like got destroyed maybe? Did it fall? We won't be able to come back, is that it? I see. This is 98. And I am Ushirumi Enji, who has been left all alone. At first this was a journey to die, but not anymore. It became a journey to accomplish something. うん。だからごめんね。二人とも。あの日の私なら何も戸惑わずにこの崖を降りるだろうけれど。うん。ビルの屋上から飛び降りた後ろには演者が。ナイスバブル、ナイス。ごめんね。Lightning, <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> Hmm. Also, how Sakutaro knows about 86? I mean, he was dead, right? I mean, yeah, they're like imaginary and everything, but he was dead. Like, Rosa killed him and Maria didn't summon him since then. So... How does he know about... 86? And say that... The wind is the same and everything? Uh, Sakutaro? You're being weird. Sakura, Sakutaro said it though, uh, as uh, though it was completely natural, and I believed it. Dad, Mom, Onichan, all of my relatives, and those fun servants, and Maria Onechan. 
私よエンジンを私は帰ってきたわ When I started my journey to expose the past of 12 years ago, my goal had been abstract and I hadn't understood. But now I have no doubts. This journey was induced by several thoughts and fates over 12 years. A journey to reach the、uh, an end of me, Ushirimi Anji. And the journey reached an end as the last witch of Marish Sorcier. Wow. I came here as the last daughter of the Ushrimia family and as the last witch. Wow. Otosan, Okasan, Onicha, Gomene, Sakini, Maria Onechan to no Aisatso Sasetene. A strong tailwind urged me on. That tailwind. Took just my soul out from inside my body to the vast forest beneath me. Okay. Okay, calm down, Umineko. And though from here on I couldn't see, I believe that it flew me to the mansion on that day, to where everyone was, to where Maria Onechan was. And so, even though my body was on the tip of,、uh, top of hill, a strong wind blowing against me. My soul was now certainly dancing through that sky. The vast, vast sky of Rokenjima. Below me was the green of many trees. But I understand. I can comprehend the presence of my family and relatives, and that all the servants. And Marion Echan too. I could even comprehend Marion Echan as a witch. It was vast. More so than any vast space I had imagined up until now. Maria Onechan, can you hear me? Listen. And she called to the Maria of that day. She told her of the long journey she'd un undergone, of her long delayed realization of just how much she'd wanted Maria in her youth. She understood magic, and now understood everything about the world Maria had wanted to show her. It was very warm, overflowing with love and happiness.、Hmm. Maria War was overflowing with depression, actually. She wanted to become even happier by sharing that word, but I trampled it. I don't know if everything. とてもささやかで身近に溢れてるでもそれは誰の目にも見えるものではないのよ魔法とはえはっきり言えるわ OK Oh We have the famous line again Famous line and the one that is apparently really really freaking important for the story Without love, it cannot be seen. Yeah. That's like the main topic for the drawing board. <laughs> Sorry, Onechan. I've already been excommunicated from the allies of the witches.、Uh, but now I understand how wonderful it is. And I know that after the day I wanted you, Mary Sorcier was transfigured into something different from what you truly desired. Oh. Even the magic that spat anger by cursing people was probably important to Enechan in those days. Enechan's environment was sad enough to permit that. Hmm. But. Oh. So that kind of sad life was. 終わったよだからお姉ちゃんの魔女同盟を元の優しいマリアージュ・ソルシエルに戻そうお姉ちゃんアライアンス・オフ・ウィッチェスバックトゥ・オリジナル・マリソシエルオリジナル・マリソシエルはマリアとベアトリス2人だけ
Right? And the alliance of witches is everyone else. I think so. Like we had the... Maria and Beatrice talking in the last episode at the end. And they said like we should just... Leave Marie Saucier to be between us. Only two of us. I think that something 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 along these lines. So, huh? Interesting. Choice of words here. The grimoire was in my hands before I realized it. The strong winds were rapidly blowing its pages one after another. The word had been kind in the beginning. How could you give birth to magic that would can on can make candle fall from the sky. How could you give birth to magic that would make tomorrow's dinner cream croquette? How could you give birth magic to magic that would make the weather good when you went out the next day making your whole day fun? New spells of happiness were created one after another, coloring her world with kindness. These days were flipped through one after another, and months began to flash by. The pages, with drawings that had been once been colorful, gradually began to change into the color of black ink, eerie magic circles and demon summonings, evil magic for harming people. Yeah, Mari Maria changed at some point. Maria changed. How could you give birth to magic that would cause the cloud bully to catch a cold. How could you give birth magic that would continue to injure someone in class so that they died? How could you give magic birth to magic that would cause a bus loaded with the old butterflies to fall off a cliff? Ooh. Malicious spells were created one after another. Boring the pages and her heart. Yeah, it was your fault as well, but not only. Like, the main, ca main catalyst was Rosa. I think. Yeah, main catalyst was Rosa. Actually, Angie might have started it. Now I think about this. And just Rosa made it, like, over the top, basically. And just took all the anger of Maria on herself because she was like the the last one that carted her and so much. Hmm. At the beginning. Okay。元のみんなを幸せにする魔法を世界中に振りまいていたマリアお姉ちゃんに戻してあげる。その have a feeling like I should reread it later. <laughs> I don't know, like recently Everything in Umineko feels important. <laughs> that's so, that's so weird. I remember like when I started this series, I didn't really pay attention to some stuff. I was just like reading and just didn't care. Maybe I should actually do that now <laughs> and think about stuff later. The voice rode an even stronger wind and was sent 12 years into the past. Then the wind gradually ceased and silence fell. Maria? I could hear the sound of gavel being stepped on. I listened to those footsteps, surprised at this miracle. Without a doubt, those were Maria on the jump footsteps. <laughs> Maria on Oh shit! 
How the fuck did you get here? Oh my god. Did the Makusa leak to you? And so, so they gave info? Was it a boatman? Was it someone else? Also, how did you go to this island before Angie? What? Okay. That's... That's a problem. She pretty much want to kill you. And you are at the cliff. That cannot end well. Oh my god. <laughs> Before I knew it, Aunt Kasumi and her black suits. A total of seven people who didn't re resemble Mario Nachal in the slightest were standing there, surrounding me. And it felt like my voice had uh, been just about to reach Mario Nachal too. I don't know why, but when I I read now, uh, black suits, seven people, I can I I see goats. I don't know why. <laughs> Help. <laughs> because of those guys' toxin, the magic was cut off. Angie clicked her tongue at that, but Kasumi probably didn't hear it that way. Hmm. <laughs> Just what are you waiting for? But Angie, more or less, guys. The way the black suits are not really uh, stuck their hands into their pockets clearly brought to mind likelihood that they had gun guns. This is a deserted island. There could be no more convenient. Convin Convenient place to dispose of someone. Yep, pretty much. I have absolutely no interest in the family matters of Sumadera family. But if I die, all the wealth will go to them. Unlike me, they are probably very interested and concerned about this matter. Of course, it seems that if the massive amount of stock I own suddenly go to them, it will be pretty bad for the Shirmiya group as well. And they are apparently having a second thought, fighting over me all, uh, all by themselves. Well, Angie is a queen of jumping from roofs and like from high places, so I guess she will just jump off the cliff. <laughs> That's probably why President uh, Okonogi gave me Amakusa as guard. Having Amakusa wait on the boat was a regrettable mistake. Yeah, that's what I like I'm interested in. Okay, that's okay. That that's a reasonable time, I guess. おかげですっかりまちくたびれちゃったわ。何しろ喫茶店もお化粧室もないからね。トイレもないからお上品にこかげでよう済ませていたわけね。なぜ、なぜ。彼にも済まだらけの血を半分引いてる宿女が。<
歴史と伝統あるスマデラ家の重みなど何も考えず自分勝手に家を飛び出したわ Yeah, we don't,、uh, we don't care about Smodera family. Like, you guys sound s like an assholes. Oh, I'm going to go to the house. 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 When I was slapped on the cheek, my ear was smashed, and for an instant, my head rang. My hair was pulled, spinning me around, and I fell to the ground. And in flash, the ground was kicked and I was struck with sand. Throw her off the cliff, come on! その目つき I mean, throw Sumatera off the cliff. Then bodyguard will be like, oh my god, our boss is dead, we have to surrender. その o こか小 o にした目つきよ思い出すわいろいろと哀れな人ねきっと幼い頃から何かにつけてお母さんに比較されて蔑まされてきたんでしょうにそしてあんたは一生その惨めさから解放されやしないわいやプレティマッシュお前みたいな小娘には分からないわ
She lived like a crazy, selfish, and, uh, and affluent princess, sneering at Kyria, who had been given the heavy responsibility. However, Kyria had suddenly been disinherited. She had refused the fiance her parents had arranged and had gotten pregnant by her lover, Shirmiel Rudolf. Also, this is weird. Like... Wait, uh, but just... From the Somadera's perspective, even though the Ushirmiya family had a vast fortune, it was low-level uh, family that had already collapsed. Okay. Anyway, that's... You remember... This... I think I did it... I did it... Yeah, I didn't mention this on Discord uh, discussion lately. I just, like... Yeah. I think I got it, like, just... Now? Like, today, I think? Uh, like we had in the previous episode, the thing that suggests that uh, Butler is basically, yeah, like, how do I say it? Okay, never mind. I, I need, like, uh, make my mind first. Like, my thought process just got lost somehow. I wanted to talk about the backstory we had from Kyrie perspective in the episode 3 when they were like fighting the stakes. The Rudolf and Kyrie, when they were fighting. And there was like about a backstory about, about Kyrie, uh, Asumu, and Rudolf. And it's. I think there's contradiction to what we have in the... Is it in the Tikmini? Uh... Maybe not. I don't know. I, I don't remember what I... I, I cannot. Okay, never mind. Let's just go. And to become not even a legal wife, but a mistress to the second son of that family. Normally a daughter of the main family would be shown no mercy for such dishonor. They would wrap her up in mud, pull, uh, place a pole on end, and throw her either into Pacific Ocean if the pole fell to the right, or the Sea of Japan if it fell to the left. What a stupid tradition. But here a punishment ended uh, with this, uh, this inheritance and unbelievably warm head uh, he heard a decision. After that, the Sumadera family began receiving favorable treatment from the section of the Ushimiya group. There must have been some kind of uh, backroom deal. Yep, pretty much. In other words, Kira openly left the Sumadera family under the pretense of gaining financial support from the Ushimiya family. Kasumi had watched it happen in shock. No, even she disp disparaged her dishonorable sister as a loser. But eventually, she realized that the heavy responsibilities Kyrie had borne would be passed to her on to her. And then, for the first time, she saw that she had been outwitted. <laughs>一度殺されたと言ってもいい。あの日に私は一度殺されて地獄のような日々に突き落とされたのよ。それまで人生舐めてきた付けじゃない。口の平根小娘だぜ。No。The <coughs> black suit punched me in the gut and I doubled over. I was quickly grabbed by the nape of the neck and made to stand up again. That's fucked up. That could be even more fucked up, but that's not that drastic <laughs> story. Kasumi cold heartedly looked down at me, smoking a cigarette. The painful days after Kiria had left were floating through her mind. Until then, she had been allowed to be a simple lady. Free willing and naive. 
Only the older sister Kyrie had been harshly trained, and she, the younger sister, had been uh, able to live as nothing more than the princess. Then suddenly everything got flipped over, and her life came crashing down. So, so you basically was lazy as, like, yeah. <laughs> A kick landed on Angie's side as she crawled on the ground. Angie didn't stand up again, so she continued to lie there, like a caterpillar, as she was kicked each time she spoke. What's with your face? What's what's that? F what's with this face of disgust? Yeah, and you are like. <laughs> You are just jealous and also you wasting your time and energy for like hating her even if she's dead and like blaming her for everything. Just get your shit together already. Like it's been 12 years since Kiri is dead. God damn it. And also uh uh what I'm to say? Uh it's not that Kyrie pushed everything into you, but your fucking Sumatera family pushed that into you because they decided to just go with the option to deal with Ushiro Mia. And you just got like everything? So <laughs> どうあんたが幸せになるってわけ。私に奴当たりすると時間が巻き戻って歴史が変わったりしてくれるわけ。いや。ライクカサムウィルノットアンダースタンド。ライクシーズライク。ディスイズザ あんた。さっき言ったわね。私の人生はいつ始まるのっていくら恨んでも奴当たりしても時間を巻き戻すことなんてできない。じゃあ私は死ぬまでこうして死んでもなお姉さんを恨み続けて冗談じゃないわ。
Oh, wait, Sakutaro is here. How? I mean, Toxin is like all over the place, right? So she cannot probably materialize them, but like she can still talk to them in the mind, I guess. Well, he was ordered to leave on the boat, so probably will take him a while to figure out what's going on, and also it's pretty far, so it will also take him a while to get here. And he have to assume that she's here. Aww. I'm on crying. I don't need Mamon to tell me. I was seriously regretting it already. I walked a long way. The forest was very thick. I've got no doubts that signs of activity here won't reach the boat. During the time it took for Kasumi to finish casually smoking a whole cigarette, I was continuously tormented by the black suits. As she had told them to. The moment I grabbed at my head, the moment I uh, grabbed at my head, my scalp was kicked by someone at the bad angle, and my head was filled with stars. The feeling of stars flickering the grey twisted world was one I remembered clearly. My life was very similar to the one Sumadera Kasumi led. After all. Uh, as the successor of the Ushimaya family, I was tormented constantly with various kinds of bullying under the guise of edu education training. <coughs> yeah, pretty much. Angie got everything pushed on her, uh, on her f from like Eva perspective. Eva before death and everything. Just like pushed everything on her, onto her. Yes, having the inside of my head filled with stuff like this is a feeling I know well. When being uh, reprimanded for some error in manners I seem to have made, the discussion always turned to whatever I was fitting to be the sisters or not, and on about the honor of the Ushimiya family and how deep that was. By the time of the conversation reached that point, I'd forget what mistake I was being blamed for. Uh, I'd forget what mistake I was being blamed for in the first place. Yeah, hello Eva. You crazy bastard. No, in fact, it was the same for Antiva. After all, sometimes she would ask herself, Ah, oh, what was it again? But in the end, she wouldn't be able to remember and would say something like, Yeah, pretty. So sounds like Eva. Yeah, so sounds like Eva. That'd be some ridiculous reasoning like that. And then she'd keep on punishing me. Yeah. Antiva punishment wasn't something that would continue until I learned something or acknowledged my mistake or apologized. It would continue until Aunt Eva wanted to stop. So this violence was a bit nostalgic. In a way that made me want to vomit. God damn it. I open my eyes and look. There's Antiva. Right next to Kasumi, who's smoking a cigarette. I can see Antiva almost as though the two of them are laughing together. Wow, she have like delusion she's like delusional now. <laughs> when I think about it, even Aunt Eva alive. Might be a thing worthy of my sympathy. My responsibility and pressure of being a member of the Ushimaya family, which she often mentioned to me, had probably caused her great pain. Yeah, she wanted to be a head of the family, but she was denied of everything and always like 
was made for fun that she shouldn't study and everything. After all, uh, oh my god, the soundtrack, god damn it. After all, people can make insults if they have never been the targets of themselves. Yeah. It was probably the same for Aunt Rosa as well. Yep, like all the siblings were onto her. As the youngest child of the Honorable Ushirmiya family, she must have gone through many tough times. So it was just like, and if I did to me, just like what Madara Kasumi is doing now. Aunt Rosa must have been the same. Yeah, and she did pretty much the same to Maria and got into like 100% more. People tend to push the pain they burned uh, with onto other people. Otherwise, they can never escape from that pain. So on and on, in eternity and perpetuity, the chain of pain and sadness does not end. That's why. Maria Onichan magic was so incredible. With her magic, she didn't have to bear the pain caused by Aunt Rosa. The pain probably was pushed into her. Yep. It was weight. Its weight probably tormented her. But Onichan didn't carry that burden on her own shoulders. She purified it and filled her world with happiness. Yep. And then Sakutaro died and everything got fucked up. So I'm sure, if Mario and Chan had be, had children in the future, she probably wouldn't have pushed the, the pain that he forced onto her, onto her children. Yeah, actually, I can agree with this. I can actually agree with this. Sure, she would like, probably try to teach that dark magic and everything, but yeah, no pain. That chain of pain and sadness that stretched back for who knows how long, which she couldn't understand, understand and which she had inherited, which she had been forced into her. Marian and Chan cut it with her magic. In the past, I would have snapped back. I would have met her hatred with hatred, so that they would cancel each other out. Nothing got cancelled out. The thing being forced to me ended up uh, right there on my shoulders. Just like how even now I hate her. So now that I know of magic, I will look at the human called Ushimiya Eva again. What I could see through to was a sad human form, no different from me, who had lost her family and who bore deep wounds in her heart. That's true. Unable to withstand the pain of the torn heart, she was doing nothing more than howl, howl sadly like a lion crying in pain, like a child. Also, not only her backstory was full of things that she didn't want but also after Rock and Jima the whole situation Rock and Jima like she lost like her own family her, her son and, and husbands uh, even though Shremia Eva was someone I should have felt compassion for she needed someone to understand the difficulties of pain of her childhood years. Even she, who was the only survivor of the Rokenjima crime, who was faced with the curiosity of all society, who was publicity slandered and forced to have salt continually flung onto, into the wound, had needed someone's compassion in order to let Eva forget her pain and sadness at the little least the black witch taught her magic, just like the times it had possessed Aunt Rosa. Yep, that's the, the, 
that's pretty much the same like what Maria's saying. Like Rosa is possessed by the bad witch, basically. She loves uh, like her mama, but she hates Rosa. Actually, when she was like, we had that episode when Maria was like killing Rosa. She, she said like she actually hates mama as well. So I don't know. It was the same magic of ang anger and sadness that Beatrice had taught Maria on a chan when she was mourning for her torn apart friend, Sakutaro. <sighs> the same magic. That witch had probably dwelled inside Androza too. So I mustn't hate Shiremiya Eva. Maybe I should have become her ally. Is the only person in the world who could understand her. What did I say to her when I was young? We should have turned alive all alone. Could it be that I acted as though she killed my family and returned to on her own? Probably because that's like how it looked like. But yeah, this is this is the part that doesn't make sense to me. So I don't think like Ro uh, Eva is actually culprit for episode three. Like it just don't make sense to me that she would kill her own family. Like say whoever you want, but Eva had very deep connection with Hideyoshi and George. I don't know, I feel like maybe even Kraus and yeah, I think like from all the parents, Eva, Hideyoshi and George were like the closest family together, you know? That's what I think. Like these three had the like strongest bonds together, I would say. Out of uh, every line that we had, I don't know. I, I that that's for me. Like, I really think that they had like the strongest bond. Which one do you think? Let me know in the comments. Do you agree with me, or do you think like someone else deserve the place of like the most bo like bonded family together? For me, like this is this is like the number one. I can't believe it. And Eva has never been more than an object of and a synonym for hatred through her my life. It's turning the human, I can understand. So I can see right next at next to Antifa. The form of the black witch who taught her the black magic. Ivatris? Yep, there's Ivatris! And Eva was crying. Yep, we remember. She was like devastated in that episode. She didn't want to do. That. She didn't want that. She apparently knew what's happening. She was talking to herself, to the Eva trees, but couldn't stop anything. I still didn't like my theory about episode three. I'm not entirely sure if I want to do. I probably should. But now when we have episode 4 informations, making theory just on episode 3 feels weird. But maybe I will do it. Maybe I will just give my thoughts and like do the short episode. Probably I will, just to like continue my little series of theories that I had. It was only natural, not only... Not only was no one willing to understand the pain of losing her husband and son at once, but her only relative had insulted her, saying, Give me back my dad and mom. Oof. I can make the excuse that I was merciless because of my youth. However, at her, to her at that time, it had probably been cruel enough to sever the last thread in her heart. Yep. In the following days, the talk shows and magazines publicity slandered her. The truth of her husband business character and even her beloved son were neg neg negated. She no longer had anything left. She could do nothing but cry and hole, trying to forget the pain and sadness 
at the least for a while. After all, she could only feel a tiny bit of release, and only during the time that she hold. And so the Black Witch taught her how to hold. The one I hated was the Black Witch. Black Witch can probably release one from the pain for an instant. However, it never lifts that weight from the person's shoulder. On the contrary, it forces that weight into further victims, filling the world with hatred. If only Aunt Eva knew of white magic and had the true witch nearby, shouldn't that have been me? Yep. Didn't I learn the magic to create happiness for Mario Mechon? Yes, you did. If I taught her, with that magic, could we have built a future with completely different relationship? Up until now. I've hated Antiva constantly. So I didn't notice the black witch beside her. Oh my god, this is the forgiveness episode. Without love, it could not be seen once again. Once again. The white magic cannot be seen without love. So it's not like magic, like magic cannot be seen without love. It's like this white magic can't be seen. I didn't have any love for her. So now finally, I will glare the Black Witch. The only, uh, the only I truly should hate. Hello, Eva Trees. I didn't expect it to actually talk to you. Let me see, see you. I see you are still piece of shit like you was before. Yep. いいじゃない、怒れば。思いっきり憎んじゃえば。憎まないわ。あんたを憎むことは、エヴァおばさんの憎しみをそのまま受け継ぐだけ。私は憎しみを断ち切る。Breaking a cycle, huh? Just like Maria was doing. That's that's Ivatris. <laughs> wow, Ivatris with this music is actually I can see like like hearing Ivatris talking right now, laughing and everything with this soundtrack You're gonna actually feel the sadness towards her. They made a really good job with Ivatris mixing her with this music. The black suits persistently kicked my stomach and back, as though they had been ordered to by the black witch. Yare, yare. 
I just realized this is what even what Maria saw from her perspective. This is what Maria saw in Rosa. Wow. Wait, so we have Rosa trees as well, probably. Wow. This is exactly what Maria saw. When, when Rosa was hitting Maria, she saw Black Witch instead of Rosa. And when Rosa was fine, she saw her just, just like a human being. That's exactly the same situation. Angie is becoming another Maria. No one else beside Maria and uh, Angie did that. Wow, this is... okay. Kasumi <laughs> sneered at me. And for some reason, I had the feeling that she was crying behind that expression. Just like me, the pain of being forced into an unreasonable life would never ever heal. The sad lion, gasping in pain from the thorn, he can't get out, continues to howl. But I'm wondering why Eva, like Eva Trees, is actually influencing Sumadera. If anything, Eva Trees should whisper in the ear of Angie because Angie was like grown by Eva later on. So the hatred, aka Evatrice, would be passed to Angie. I guess this is just for like reader perspective because Angie is dealing with hatred towards Eva right now. And that's why she imagined the Black Witch as the Evatrice. Maybe the Black Witch can be like any person. This is just embodiment of hatred that uh, Angie sees. Maybe Maria so... I don't know who, but someone else. Not, maybe not, not Rosa Trees, maybe Rosa Trees don't exist. Maybe some like other Beatrice. I don't know, maybe she's so like... I, I don't know. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> it's probably because she's dealing with with the trauma and the hatred towards Eva. And that's why Black Witch is represented as Eva Trees. And she's stuck to Sumadera in this case. <laughs> we have that emote on Discord. You can actually, guys, go to the Discord and spam this emote right now. Tachibaが逆になるのは本当に愉快だわ。なんでそんな顔ができるのよ、エンジェ。泣きなさいよ。<笑><笑> <笑>泣きたいんですよ。そうそう。泣きたいに決まってる。ずっと。<笑> I wonder if... Hmm. 
I wonder if Butler scene that was like mentioned created the first Black Witch, quote quote. What if Butler actually was a spark? I mean, Beatrice said like he was a spark of everything that happened on Rokinjima. So maybe he was a spark that initiated the hatred in, in, in Umineko, in like Ushiromiya family. He did something that sparked the hatred and just got passed on. Hmm. そう、そのことばを言わせるのよ。あのことだ、辛いでしょ自分のせいじゃないことを謝らせられるのって本当に辛かったでしょ同じ思いをさせてやるのよ。そうすることであなたの痛みは和らげることができるよ。いや、for <笑> The Black Witch provoked Kasumi, and the Kasumi began to give herself over to the dark emotion. By turning deep sadness into the evil alcohol and forcing it down, trying to forget it for just an instant, nothing would change. The worst Kasumi insulted me with were themselves. Sad. And I couldn't forgive the Black Witch, who had imposed that sadness on Kasumi. I had gone limp. It seems to have stopped the Black Suit's kicking competition. Or maybe the kickers were getting tired too. Kasumi didn't order them to stop, but at some point they did. However, I was reflected in Kasumi's eyes, and they burned me with flames of hatred. She had been tempted, tempted by the Witch. To do that in order to relieve her own pain. Sumadera Kasumi? Mada yo? Mada mada fumini zirina sai? Oh, that's. Yeah, that's the brutal Eva Trees we remember from episode 3. Oh. Anata no jin sewa, konna hon no chotta no rambo de yuruseru no? Yurusena yo yo. Mada kore krai dewa yurusena in dakara. でしょ I have a feeling like I need to analyze every character uh, personality at this point. And then attach them to the story. Hmm. Yeah, drawing board is getting bigger and bigger with every episode. Hora itte? Saken de? Nikushimi no hoko de? Jibun o moyashi tsukushite ba? I need to figure it out. Who hated who the most? Probably. And who loved who? How the cycle began and how it went. Who had the biggest motive? What's the motive? Maybe the motive is actually the revenge like I thought. And about the love. Actually about the lost love, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she don't know if to cry or laugh. Oh my god, she's going to trample on this. Oh my god, this is like equivalent of trampling on ng family on on memory of their fa of her family and everything oh 
That might be the hardest... Hardest one for NG right now. The Black Witch grinned at me unpleasantly, using her chin to signal Kasumi to pick it up. Kasumi picked up the flower I was going to offer, brought them all the way over to me, dropped them and made a show of trampling them. That expression was filled with hatred and frantic quality that couldn't be explained with hatred alone. She trampled them over and over, again as though her sadness was reaching the bursting point. So the sound of her trampling, it was just sad. Use what? Oh, the grim. Oh, the dairy. Oh. Okay, there's, there's that. Okay. I forgot. Oh my god. The object of the black witch pointed at was Marion and Grimoire. Kasumi also noticed it and picked up that book, which was heavier than it looked. Oh my god. <laughs> Kasumi opened the grimoire. And I think we'll continue this in the next episode, actually. I... I'm working on getting better upload speeds and everything, but doing very long episodes, like two to three hours, like last episode, especially when there's like some music problems, is really stressful and painful right now. So I think this is a fine place to end and to start the next episode with her reading the grimoire and we'll see the climax of everything in the next episode and what will follow because I feel like there might be a lot of stuff happening in the next episode. I think that's that's fine. Also that's pretty long episode as well. Yeah. Uh, that's that was a great episode. I really like that. So if you like that episode leave up a like as well. And let me know in the comments if you think like I I think like Eva, George, and uh, Hideyoshi were the closest ones that were like together in the Ushiremiya family, what we knew. So, yeah, that that's my opinion. Let me know what you think. And yeah, I guess I will see you in the next episode. So thank you for joining me for today and we'll see in the next episode. Probably the end of the cycle, the end of the cycle of hatred. We'll see this in the in the next episode probably. So yeah, thanks, and for our pocket watch, it's going out.